Why well, hey you everyone, uh, welcome back. I didn't really do much, I just gathered some people, some more people, and really basically that was uh, that was it. Um, I did expand a bit in, in this side, not that much, but still, I just wanted to show you that Blood Moon is coming. So besides the point that you have no idea which side they're coming from or maybe you do know because if you venture out enough to, to the portals you get to see uh, during the day the portal activates and I'm, I don't really think it's this side maybe it's the other side so that might be a, a incentive to, to uh, uh, fortify yeah I th yeah see here they were here they were and there are two guys so I'm gonna get them too uh, now technically technically I could get two more archers or or work on getting uh, the farm and I think I will be working on getting the farm so like the farm is here so I would need to build here and here defenses now let's deforestize this piece of of land here and I cannot remember do I have a yeah I have a camp here I'm not I'm not gonna get those people I mean how much how much gold do I have? Not much. Not nearly enough. And the. Oh, for fuck's sake! And the builders need to hurry it up. Like, really need to hurry it up. Because the day doesn't last too long. And if I want to get the farm, I don't really want to get just the farm I would like to get a bit more of the of the territory like for example these two uh, chunks of land here like you can build tr um, not trees trenches trenches no not trenches um, the walls you know and that would give you more that would give you a bit more of safetyness safe not really safetyness but eh. You would have more, more le leverage. <laughs> Let's put it like that because there's there's no really way to put it. Like if you have enough enough uh, space, then that's really everything that's gonna be that's gonna be working in your favor. I really need to upgrade my walls to stone walls because if I'm gonna be in really big trouble. Now let's get these two people from here. Let's let's leave the horsey to eat a bit. So there's one and there's another one. So that's good. I'm gonna have two more people. I'm not sure if to make builders or not. That's another thing. Like builders are sacrificeable? Let's put it like that. But you need builders. Like constantly, you need builders. <laughs> it's it's not even funny to be honest. Okay, so see, for example, now I can build up to here walls. Here's the camp. Uh, and there's nothing else to actually build walls. Oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. Does anyone else have money? No, no one else. Neither do you. No, neither do you. Is it enough? Of course it's not enough. Oh well. Uh, for now, we, we survived the first... The first uh, Blood Moon. So I would say... Make a, make a farm, because that's gonna give us... That's gonna give us quite a lot of money, but... Besides the farm, we still have to buy these things here, and this costs a lot. Like, look, one costs five pieces of... Five gold, like, what the fuck? Jesus. 
Well, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be worth it in the end. It's going to be a, a, a good investment. Because archers are good for defense and, and yeah, just defense. And hunting to, to get you money, but the farmers, now they, they really get, uh, give you money. Because this, this is not going to last long, that's for sure. So, I would say now, build a farm, and if possible, get to scythes. Scythes? Yeah. No. <laughs> like, fuck no, it's impossible. Two scythes. There's no way I have enough money for two scythes. But I do have enough money to get these two assholes here. So, one. Really? And the other one can start running as well. Awesome. Now I have two more people. Four in total. And I think we have six at the base. That don't have tools or any calling whatsoever. So, we are in dire need of money now. The farm is built, well, more or less, like a, a little platform is built where they can farm. But there are no tools. So it's one, two, three, four. I think there were two more. Didn't I get two more? Okay, that's weird. It doesn't really matter. So, by the time that I can actually get... The tools, I think the archers, well, the archers are not going to give me anything else. No. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I have only four people that are unemployed. Let's put it like that. Oh, I really need to make farmers. So you see, the archers are going hunting. I don't have any more money, so you can stop popping up, bag. Uh, that's the sun. I was gonna say that the moon is already over? Like, the night is already over? Damn. But no, that's the sun. That's another day passing by. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna try to collect more money because right now there's really nothing else to do. And, uh, it was a bit nerve-wracking, <laughs> because at a certain point, oh fuck, Blood Moon's here again. There was a point where I barely didn't make it. So, I had to upgrade this wall to stone, and I made two stone walls on the other side, because the other side, they actually, they actually breached. I didn't lose any people, but they breached. <laughs> So, thank God they fixed this one. They're not coming this. Uh, they're not coming on this side. And I managed to buy three scythes. So that's a improvement. Thanks to that, I could actually upgrade the the the, the walls. Three scythes means three. Yeah, see, this is where they breached, and they almost breached again. But, having in mind it's it's Blood Moon, I'm not really that preoccupied because we survived. So, yeah, about that. Now, let's get some more money. Okay. And, I don't know, should I get a scythe? Yeah, that way this guy is employed as well. But then I'm gonna have another one unemployed. Because I still have one coin. God damn it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Now, from what I understood, it's uh, per farm five plots of land where you can uh, plant, harvest. So, by this water hole here, it's one, two, three. Then I'm assuming they're gonna go four and five this way. I'm assuming, I'm not sure. Or is it two on this side and two on that side? I have no idea to be honest. 
I didn't really play the game that much to, to go into detail, into depth about how the game mechanic work, mechanic, mechanics work. But that's what I gathered. Now, uh, you see them here, the the farmers going back to back to Central Hall, and and what the fuck is he doing? Go to your plot of land there. So, because it's only stage one farming, they go back and forth to the central, uh, like to the base, right? But if you upgrade it to the second level, the only level to upgrade, they actually stay here. They remain at the farm. So all the time wasted going back and forth, back and forth, is going to be used to, to farm. And because they and because they're faster, they stay here. They farm faster. You get more money. At least I think that's how it works. I'm I'm just here to enjoy the game. And no, don't get me wrong. The game is awesome. The music is awesome. It just it seems lacking. And you see, by night time. Oh, thank fuck. I can actually upgrade this now. You must be shitting me right now. One bloody coin. That's all it needed. One bloody coin. God damn it. Does anyone have a coin? No. Of course. And the coin that I spent on that guy. I could have spent it here. Oh, fuck me. That's... On you! I spent it on you! <laughs> Does anyone have a coin? Just one, please? No? Okay. Now, normally what you can do, it's uh, really annoying, but you can go farm deers. If you can get them to, f to, if you can chase them to your base, and this is very risky what I'm doing, well, they're already coming on, on the other side, so there's no there's no real problem. Like this, for example, see? I'm I'm getting I'm trying to get the deer towards my archers. No Go back, 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 go uh, deers, if I'm not mistaken, it's two coins per deer. So you get one coin per, um, per bunny, and it's two per deer. So if you can spook them enough to go to your camp, then they're gonna be hunted, and you're gonna get the coins. So that's a good thing for now, for me. Let's upgrade the uh, the farm, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get more money. God damn it, horsey! <laughs> There's another black horse that you can trade this one in for. I'm not sure if it's actually faster, or I'm not sure what it does, to be honest. But yeah. So let's see. Can we can we chop down some trees over here? Maybe I, sh I should make more builders. Now I have to be careful. This one and this one, and leave that tree alone. Because if now we're gonna be in big trouble. Now uh, you and you can go to the base. And let's hope, let's hope the builders get here in time. <sighs> now, from what I'm seeing on the ground, there's no plots of land where I can actually put a wall. So, I'm going to have to deforestize from the other side. Okay, god damn. The builders are coming. That's, that's awesome. That's perfect. Now, chop down the trees. You get one coin 
per tree. It's not it's not bad, it's not good either. It's it's progress, I guess. And I think I'm going to do more archers. With these two wait, I wanna see is there a plot of land here? No, no there isn't. Or yes, maybe no, no there isn't. Okay, now the builders should really come back inside. Do we have any money? Any money here? There might be some money here. So you see four plots, four plots of land, and they're remaining here by the by the farm. So that's that's a good thing. <laughs> now, um. Should I get more archers or what should I get? Yeah, I'm gonna get more archers. It's one, two, three. And they're dispersing nicely. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave the, the video here for you guys. Uh, I'm not sure what, what else to do if to expand or get more archers. Because the farm is built. So at this point, I think I'm going to expand. Yeah, they're attacking from the left because I'm not hearing any any noise from the right. See? Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. If you enjoyed the video, please tune in next time. Leave a like and don't forget to leave in the descriptions. No, not in the descriptions. <sighs> don't forget to leave in the comment section below what you would do different. And if you played the game, how did you play it? How was your experience? Because maybe I'll use it, maybe I'll do the same. Who knows? So, tune in next time.